Hey everyone, welcome to this video testimonial for the online course, Improving Sales Performance, Resilience and Wellbeing Through Mental Health. I've got Jake Pharmacus with me today. He's an enterprise account executive over at Trip Actions. Uh, how's it going, Jake? It's going well, Jeff. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, man. No, thanks for, thanks for taking a few minutes to chat with us and share with the other salespeople and mental health advocates your, your experience so far. Um, but I guess I'm, I'm curious, like I know we, you and I chatted a few weeks ago or met a few weeks ago. I'm curious before we dive in, um, to just learn about your perspective and hear why you think mental health and sales is so important to, to your role and, sure. and sales in general. Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, quickly, I've been in the account executive role in, in software sales for close to six, seven years. Um, before that I was even starting my own company. So I've kind of gone through the sales grind. For many years um, and for me i've noticed one of the key things as most people know in sales is it's not what you say but it's almost how you say it that matters more and i feel like what i noticed pretty much in the first couple of years is that if you're not in the right headspace then you won't be at your full potential and if you're not at your full potential if you're not in the right headspace your prospects or clients won't really ultimately feel the need to potentially buy from you and i've been given a lot of sales tools in the past um, not just with current companies but in the past they're great, they're helpful, but for me, I felt like the mind and being in the right headspace and being personally focused and happy um, really, really resulted in, in a lot of success for me in the past. Um, I, got, I went through it actually personally. Uh, uh, probably early on in my sales career, I'd say I had a small panic attack, and um, it was actually not during a sales call, but it was doing, during another event. But I noticed that once I started focusing on my mind and my mental health, whether it was meditating, um, you know, converting to coffee, to green tea, to um, just kind of, you know, thinking about acupuncture and other things around sleep and exercise and what I could be doing to encourage better mental health for my, for my sales and for my personal life. It was a dramatic impact right away where I noticed I was actually in a much better headspace to be more successful in sales. So mm -hmm. um, I have started to share it with more people and I feel like it's an, it's an underappreciated part of the sales lifestyle that a lot more people should be talking about today. Yeah, I, I feel you for sure on the the panic attack game and uh, or the panic attack moments. Those those are those are tough and it's wild. Like we spend so much time within sales focused on how do we influence buyers. We forget that sales is primarily a mental game and how important that is yeah. to being able to show up day in and day out and perform at a high level. But um, yeah, in, in terms of when you were looking at the online course. I know for me, I've, I've experienced this as a seller. Everyone can be so burnt out. And though you want to prioritize that personal development, take that online course, pick up that book that you know you should be reading. It's hard sure. because there's so much you need to do on a daily basis. What really motivated you to invest the time into taking the online course? Um, short answer was that I just felt like I wanted an edge. Uh, frankly, I feel like everybody right now, like we are going through during this interview is, is getting a little burnt out being on virtual calls and zoom meetings and webinars and all these invites that we're getting. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the routine of the daily grind of just going to your computer in your office is getting uh, quite old. And I feel like as we get through this, this pandemic and we're still going to take some time to get through it, um, you know, there's got to be ways to get an edge against some of the people that you're working with, or obviously your competitors. And I feel like for people right now that are actually positive, that can be in the right mindset. Uh, and don't think about just new sales tools and great podcasts that are out there. But what could I be doing for my mind and body since I'm in a different kind of uh, routine? Mm -hmm. To me, that felt like this was the right time for the course. And I, I've been focusing on mental health personally for the last few years, especially for enterprise or software sales. And I got to say, there's not much out there in terms of either content, people talking about it, and ways, not only just talking about it, but ways you can actually strategically do things to impact your day to day. Um, and when I came across the Sales Health Alliance, frankly, it was the first time where I felt like I was reading something that I could have written because it was so relatable and such a, such, a timely, such a timely platform for me to literally just take a couple of days and go through your course and think about how I want to be going through um, my career, not just from a sales tech, you know, from a, from a, from, from kind of from like a technical perspective and enhancing my sales methodology, but also how do I want to increase my mental health and my longevity in this career? Man, it's, it's talking, it's hearing things like this and talking to people like you that is just so inspiring to see how important this topic is. Um, because for a long time, I, I, I sometimes feel like I'm the only one that is, is really motivated and super excited by this, but it's awesome when you meet someone else that feels the same way and has a, sh a story to share, but also sees the value in terms of being able to level up their, their sales game doing this. So yeah, 
key question, key question here. Someone like yourself, who's obviously spent a lot of time developing themselves, working on their mental game and their mental health. Like, what would you say are, you know, a few things that you really learned or took away from the course? Uh, I love your analogy. I mean, there are so many things. I actually, I remember coming back after the, the episode two and telling my wife, like, this is something that I've been waiting for for a couple of years, frankly. I was so, so jacked up and thinking about how, you know, I listened to a lot of sales podcasts in the morning and throughout, the, throughout my week. And this was the first time where I felt like there was one that actually spoke to me from a mental health perspective mm-hmm. on what salespeople go through day in and day out. Because um, I know there's obviously great apps out there like Headspace and others that can help you with meditation and help you with you know, your, your, your mindset and your, your mental health. But when it comes to actually the day-to-day experience of cold calling and, and creating opportunities in Salesforce and trying to close deals and accelerate deals and you go through your med picks and your sales mm-hmm. methodologies, how do you convert that to actually the mental health side of things, right? What are, what are people doing day in and day out um, in their sales tools where it's maybe more output versus mm-hmm. focusing on, I loved your points about focusing more on inputs. Mm-hmm. You know, how are you thinking about your, your week? How are you thinking about your sleep? How are you thinking about your diet? Um, what are some things? And I think this actually really spoke to me as when you made the analogy of corporate athletes. Mm-hmm. Salespeople are your corporate athletes. And I, and I, you know, growing up playing sports, I kind of loved your analogies around corporate ath- or, or, or professional athletes spend so much time, you know, getting better, you know, from a physical perspective, but also mentally. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look at some of the, 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 the players that were just interviewed down at the, uh, the bubble for the NBA, how they're going through a mental, mental, you know, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a, a mental grind, right? You're, you're in sure. a hotel room and you play all day long and it's hard for them to not, mo- not only mentally get ready for the game, but physically get ready. So they are focusing on both. And yeah. I don't think sales, leaders today technically spend as much time as they should talking to their AEs or SDRs about the mental health of the job. So mm-hmm. I've loved your day-to-day examples of what you could be doing to kind of prepare for some of the stresses and the anxiety and the panics that are going to come with sales. Um, so I think managers actually could get a lot out of this, frankly, um, not just AEs or SDRs, but managers could really benefit from thinking about how the inputs into their, to their reps could actually keep their reps there longer and more productive because we know turnover in sales is going to have a really big impact on top line and bottom line. So you want to keep your reps happy in there longer. And I just would recommend this for anybody that's going through kind of a sales training or a boot camp or sales kickoff, anybody that's new out of college and getting into sales. Yes, you can learn all the methodologies from some great people and some great tools, but mental health should be a table stakes as part of the conversation when you get um, ramped up into the sales, especially in the software sales world. Totally. And uh, you're absolutely right. And that's where I've started to speak to a lot of organizations that see the opportunity and positioning this online course as really uh, an add on to their already really in depth sales onboarding. There's zero opportunity cost when it comes to, you know, taking reps away from selling when they first start, they're in that training mindset. And you're really equipping them with the helmet and the pads to go out there and play that contact sport that they play day in and day out to really protect them, their mental health, protect their mental game. And then you have that other side of the coin where you're treating salespeople, as you've mentioned, and as I talk about like corporate athletes, you can show up and perform right. day in and day out. So this has been awesome, man. Thanks. Thanks so much for taking the time to share your experience and share some of the things that you've learned and, and talk about why mental health and sales is so important. It's conversations like these that really move the needle on this topic. So, yep. so thanks Jake. I, I, I can't, uh, can't tell you how much I appreciate it. My pleasure, Jeff. I'm really excited for everything you've uh, built so far and, and going to continue to follow you guys. So thanks for putting out some great content. Cool. All right, Jake, until next time, have a good one, man. Take care. Mm-hmm.